happy Thursday, my sweethearts. It's the day before the last day of school, and I have a super fun one for us today. It is called Randy Riley's Really Big Hit, written and illustrated by one of my most favorite author, illustrator, human beings, Chris Van Dusen. There is going to be a lot of really detailed pictures, so I will do my best to hold them up long enough for you to see. And there's also a lot of rhyming. Almost all of Chris Van Dusen's books rhyme so beautifully. Randy Riley's really big hit. Randy Riley stood at bat. He gazed out at the mound. His knees began to tremble and his heart began to pound. Then Randy started thinking about the pitcher's throw. He wondered without gravity how far the ball would go. And as he stood there pondering, strike three went whizzing by. You're out, he heard the umpire call, then walked off with a sigh. So Randy is thinking, thinking about baseball and about gravity, not really paying attention to the game. See, Randy was a genius. He just couldn't hit the ball. He struck out every time at bat. He wasn't good at all. But something beyond baseball brought a smile to Randy's face. What Randy Riley really loved was stuff from outer space. He studied all the planets. He memorized their tilt. He re researched how the thrusters on rocket ships were built. He knew the constellations and the light years to the stars. And wouldn't it be great, he thought, to ride a bike on Mars? When Randy Riley got back home, he went up to his room. He knew he stunk at baseball, and it filled his heart with gloom. So he took his favorite robots from the shelf above his bed and staged a game of baseball with his, with his robot team instead. That night before he went to sleep, Randy scanned the sky and through his space boy telescope, a glimmer caught his eye. He fiddled with the focus till he saw it crystal clear it was a massive fireball, and it was coming nearer. Alarmed, he started plotting the projection of its path. He formulated diagrams. He double-checked his math. He calculated quickly and concluded with a frown. In 19 days, the fireball would crash into his town. a cool telescope. Randy Riley flew downstairs to warn his mom and dad the impact would be major and the damage would be bad. He explained the situation until his face was red but they told him he was tired and they sent him off to bed. And yes that living room is the same as the one in If I Built a House. Poor Randy couldn't sleep at all. He thought the whole night through. By morning, it was obvious just what he had to do. He gathered what he needed with determined resolution and lugged it off behind the shed to work on his solution. Randy toiled for 18 days, and toiled means he worked. I always think of a witch, bubble, bubble, toil, and trouble. I'm working on my broom. Randy Ryle. Randy toiled for 18 days while other kids had fun, but he was on a mission, so he worked till he was done. Poor kid's got a lot of pressure. Gotta save his town from an asteroid. At breakfast, on the 19th day, the news announcer said, this is a special bulletin, emergency. Code Red. 
A fireball's approaching. It just flew past the moon. It's coming fast, so be prepared for it to hit by noon. Look at his parents. They're like, wait a second. Wasn't that what Randy said? Everybody burst outside as fear and panic grew. But Randy ran right back to the shed. He had a job to do. He grabbed the tarp and gave a tug. It slid off to reveal the mighty mammoth robot man he'd welded out of steel. The robot needed power and Randy knew precisely that 97 batteries would energize it nicely. The eyes lit up, the engine whirred. Step one was now complete. So far, so good, thought Randy. Then they thundered down the street. Step two of Randy's mission took place just south of town in a section known as Millville, where the, he slowed the robot down. The robot ripped the smokestack off an old abandoned mill. Then Randy turned the throttle knob to march him up the hill. It's a giant robot. Back in town, the people were just as frightened as could be, but Randy knew the time had come for critical step three. The robot burst through the trees, stepped up and took a stance while everyone fell silent as if frozen in a trance. Randy's eye was on the ball. No room for error now. Three, two, one, and flip the switch, a swoosh. And then, what's gonna come after that baseball? Bat swoosh, a swoosh, and then kapow! A blinding flash, a booming crash. He knew what he had done. Randy Riley had a hit, his very first home run. The fireball sailed out of sight. A rousing cheer began. Hooray for Randy Riley and his giant metal man. And as the crowd went crazy, Randy stood there with a grin and mumbled, how predictable, a fastball low and in. When things returned to normal, after Randy saved the day, he went back to the baseball field to join his friends at play. And though he swings in earnest, he rarely hits the ball. But that's okay, because Randy's had the biggest hit of all. And that is the end of Randy Riley's really big hit. And there he is, hanging out with his buddy, his new best friend, the robot. All right, sweet peas. I'll be back tomorrow. One last picture book for our school year. It's another Chris Van Dusen. Makes my heart happy. Tomorrow we're going to be reading The Circus Ship. All right, sweet peas. I hope you are having a wonderful day. It's cooler today than yesterday and the day before. Thank goodness. I will see you tomorrow for our ice cream Sundays and slideshow and all that fun last day of school stuff. I love, love, love you so much and I miss you. I miss you terribly. All right, kiddos. I will talk to you soon. Bye.